Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a video on like different tips for new YouTubers and like do's and don'ts, stuff like that, um, because people always message me and they go, oh hey, I'm, I'm starting a new YouTube channel or I'm starting to do videos and I would love some advice, like what, you know, what, what do you think I should do? And I do have some good advice, so if you're starting to make videos or if you're thinking about making videos or anything like that, um, you should watch this video because you'll probably find it helpful. First thing that I always tell people is you have to have decent camera quality and decent lighting. Um, I mean, um, my lighting, I, I use natural light, I just use whatever. Um, the lighting right now is not very good, but it's decent. Like, you can still see me, it's not the best, but you can still see me. I use my MacBook, and I used to use that for all my videos, and a MacBook is decent camera quality. Also, you have to make sure that people can hear you. So audio, um, lighting, and camera quality are the three most important things. For any YouTuber, anybody making videos, we have to be able to see you and hear you, you know, as best as we can. You don't have to buy anything expensive. My flip cam that I'm filming on now was like, I think it was like $90, so that's like very inexpensive for a camera. So once you have those things down, then you're set to start making, you know, creating your content, what do you want to put on YouTube, stuff like that, which is all up to you. How to get subscribers, how to get viewers, um, stuff like that. People always want to know how do you get people to watch your videos. For me, I had sort of like, I didn't have a following, I had like a small amount of people, or I had like a couple thousand people who knew who I was because I was in my brother's YouTube videos since 2007. So those people who knew me from there um, subscribed to me on my new channel when I sort of created my own channel. So that's how I started with my channel, but when I made videos with my brother, um, you know, we had to, well, he had to start from, you know, scratch. Like, nobody knew who he was, nobody knew who either of us were. So back then you had to sort of just wait around for people to find you, and if you had good content, really the viewers would come to you. Be more active in the community of YouTube, and you will start to get different followers, maybe some people that watch, that you watch on YouTube will start watching your videos, and that's always good. There's one thing that you have to be careful about with that though, and that is what every YouTuber hates is when a random person that, you know, like for instance if somebody messages me and I've never talked to them like on YouTube before, like they usually don't leave comments, they don't, you know, tweet me, they don't, like I, they have no connection to me, they just randomly message me like, hey, can you, uh, can you tell people about my channel in your next video? And it's like, what? Do not message people that. Um, trust me, it doesn't work. I've never done that because I remember years ago when people would do that to me. There are actually very popular YouTubers today that used to do that. They used to say, like they used to spam channels, they used to, you know, kind of trick you into getting to their videos. So really never ask for people to, um, like, tell your channel on their video because they're not going to. And I'm sure that, like, if people are like me, they get asked that all the time, so you can't just do that. Like for me, I talk about other YouTubers in my videos sometimes, um, if I enjoy their videos and if I've, you know, talked to them before, stuff like that. So don't just out of the blue, like, ask for it or anything like that because that's annoying. If someone enjoys your videos and you have, like, consistent, you know, stuff up and you really have, like, a channel going and you have, like, this good thing going, um, you know, it'll be better for you because people will take you more seriously. I think that's it. I mean, I can't really think of anything right now, um, but really, I mean, just have decent quality equipment, have, cons oh, upload consistently, that's another thing. Um, your channel will be much more successful and your audience will be happier if you upload consistently. You want to not let people forget about you, so, you know, try and shoot for once a week. If you're just starting, do once a week. Then maybe do twice a week, three times a week, whatever you want to do. Also, another thing that I think is good is to, like, I do movie reviews and some, like, Twilight videos. And I always send those around to, like, different, like, if there's a Twitter for Twilight fans, a uh, Tumblr for Twilight fans, stuff like that, I'll send them the link to it. And I'll be like, hey, you know, I enjoy your Twitter, I enjoy your Tumblr, um, I think that your followers would enjoy my video, let me know if you want to post it, it that'd be cool, um, okay, bye. Like, it's not... It's just creating um, more, I don't know, I don't really know what to call it. And that's good for everybody. Let's just say that I post a Twilight review to a Twilight fan Twitter. Um, and I say, hey, check this video out. Um, I think your followers would like it. 
whatever. Um, that's good for everybody because, you know, the Twilight fan Twitter can post Twilight related content that the followers would like to see and I'm also getting my video out to a wider audience and it's all re like related to Twilight. You can't post like a, an unrelated video to Twilight like, hey I just fell down a flight of stairs, you want to post this, like they're not going to post that because it's not related to Twilight. So find different communities online is what I'm trying to get to. Um, find different fan stuff if you're posting stuff related to something. Do you get what I mean? I'm being so confusing I know and I'm talking in circles but I didn't write any of this down which is something that I should have done. I just remembered one of the most important things that I wanted to talk about is pre-record videos. This is probably the most important thing and the most beneficial thing that a lot of YouTubers do not know about. And not a lot. Actually most YouTubers do this and most of them know about this but there are still some that don't know, they haven't heard of this, they haven't considered this. That means that you should film more than one video in one day if you have the time, which some people do. Some people upload two videos in a day, three videos in a day, and it drives me crazy because I just think, like, that is not the way you want to do it. You want to save your videos. Upload only one video one day. Um, save the other two that you made the same day and upload the next one in two days, upload the third one in two days after that. You want to do this because you don't want to upload all your videos in one day because guess what, all your videos get lost, people only view the last one that you upload, you cheat yourself out of a week's worth of videos that you could be uploading, like saving and uploading, like I don't understand. The videos that I did with Louie, we filmed all of them in the same day, at the same time, like we just filmed for like a half hour and I uploaded them, I spaced them out, and I uploaded them, you know, after a few days, after a few days. And that's why I wasn't, you know, rushing around trying to find a video to upload because there was like a huge gap in my videos. You want to have pre-recorded videos so that there aren't huge gaps in between your uploads. You can upload something in between. If you don't feel good that day and you don't feel like filming, you have backup, like, you have a backup video to upload. But most YouTubers do this, you know, um, pretty much a lot of the YouTubers that you watch with a lot of subscribers, they figured out this is like not new at all. So yes, that is my biggest advice is for people who don't know about this um, and you want to upload a bunch of videos in one day, don't. You film a lot in one day, which is always good, but upload only one and then save the others and only upload you know, the second one like a few days after. Trust me, do not upload more than one video in one day unless it's like you know, there are exceptions. If there's like an emergency video that you really need to say like, by the way, this is happening today, or there's a sale for this, or I'm on Block TV, that's fine. I hope this video made sense to you guys. I'm really sorry if this was confusing, but people always ask me and I thought that I had some good advice. If you have any questions in the comments, I will answer them and thank you for watching.